Hello everyone, if you have a laptop, whether it is a Windows laptop or a Mac laptop, and you want to connect it to many devices, the best method is to use a docking station. I have tested and reviewed many docking stations in the past, and today I'm reviewing and testing this docking station from Tubin one This is model UDS-030. In my video, I'm gonna let you know what makes this docking station stand out from the others that I tested before, and also I'm gonna be covering the basics, like I'm gonna show you what's in the box. I'm gonna also show you how to install the driver so for the docking station to work optimally. And also I'm gonna show you the ports and I'll be testing these devices that you see in front of you. So let me start first by showing you what's in the box. So let me open the box. This is really a nice box. To open it, you need to slide it like this. And you have like these thank you notes on the top of the box. This is a nice gesture. Everything is well packaged in the box. Let me remove everything and remove them from the packages also. And this is everything you get in the box. You have the docking station, you have the power brick with a detachable cord, and you have a USB-C cable that also has a USB-A adapter. And this here is a support card. Now that you saw what's in the box of this docking station, I'm gonna show you the ports. And at the same time, I'm gonna let you know what makes it stand out. So the first thing that makes it stand out is that it is vertical and it is really very well built. So if you put it on your desk, it is really very easy to connect devices to the front of this docking station. And the second thing that makes it stand out is that it has eight USB ports. And this is really a very big number of USB ports. And also it has two TF inputs here. So you can put your micro SD card and your SD card here. And this is also what makes it stand out. So now let me talk about the ports. I'm gonna show you the back of the docking station first. So this is here, the USB-C host port. So this is where you connect your PC to the docking station. And this is RJ45. This is for ethernet. It has one gigabits per second ethernet speed. And this is a power port. And these are three USB 2.0 ports here. They are ideal for a keyboard, mouse, printer, and a webcam. And these are the monitor outputs. So for each monitor, you have either display or HDMI. And it's important to know that if you want to connect a monitor, for instance, to monitor output one, you need to connect it either to display port or to the HDMI. You cannot connect both because they will not work. And it is the same also for monitor two. Let me show you now the front of this docking station. On the top, you have the SD card slot and the micro SD card slot and they both work simultaneously and this is really very good and this is here a USB-C port either for data or also for charging and this here is 10 gigabits per second USB 3.1 and this one also is USB-A and this is also 3.1 10 gigabits per second and these three USB ports here are USB 3.0 their speed can go up to 5 gigabits per second and this is an audio port here so now I'm gonna connect this docking station once again to my laptop and I'm gonna show you how to install the display link driver. The 2-in-1 docking station uses the display link driver from Synaptics. So to install the driver, go to your web browser and then go to synaptics.com and here go to downloads and choose your operating system. So you have drivers for Windows, Mac, Android, Chrome OS and Linux Ubuntu. So here I have a Windows PC, so it is Windows 11. I'm gonna click on Windows and here scroll until you find latest official drivers. Click on it. You need to accept this agreement. So feel free to read it and then click on accept and the driver will be downloaded. So here I'm gonna choose to save it. And when the driver is downloaded, we need to install it. So I'm gonna click this icon here to go to the downloads folder. So this is a driver. Before installing it, I wanted to let you know that it is better to install it before powering on the docking station. So if your docking station is now powered on, power it off and then install the driver. So here I'm gonna install the driver. Click yes if prompted. Let me close everything and keep the installation program only. And here I'm gonna click on install. And here it will give you the option to install the display link manager also from the Windows Store. So if you want to install it, you can install it. So the display link manager is a software that will allow you to manage your displays in a fashion that maybe it is easier than Windows. I like to use the Windows display settings and I'm not going to install this. So I'm going to click on finish. 
Now what I'm going to show you is how to arrange the displays in case the mouse doesn't travel intuitively. So this is in my case display 1, 2 and 3. So see the mouse here. It travels like this very easily and then like this. So in case the mouse doesn't travel easily, this is what you need to do. Right click anywhere empty on any display and then choose display settings. And here the first thing you need to do is to identify which display is which number. So click on identify and you notice one, two, three. So in case your displays were like positions in a different way, all you have to do is put them logically here as they are physically. So let me zoom in here to show you a little bit better. So these are the displays. You can simply drag and drop them until your mouse travels intuitively between the displays or until the mouse travels the way you want it. So in my case, they are one, two, three. I'm going to keep them this way. And after you arrange them here, don't forget to click on apply. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this webcam with you here. So this webcam is connected to the USB 2.0 port on the back of this docking station. So I'm going to launch simply the camera application in Windows. And you notice how the webcam works when I launch the camera application. So it works very good. So now I'm going to let you know what are the limitations of this docking station. The first limitation is that this docking station is not made for gaming. So if you game on it, it will lag and it will not work. And also this docking station will not display movies that are HDCP protected. The third limitation I wanted to talk about is that if you connect your mouse or your keyboard to the front ports of this docking station, and these are the USB 3.0 and 3.1 ports, they will not work correctly. So they might work for a little bit of time, so they work sporadically. And I tested it and they didn't work my devices with these front ports. So these ports are only for data. And also a fourth limitation, and this is normal for any docking station, is that if you connect it to your laptop with the USB-A connector, you cannot use it for charging. So it cannot charge the laptop at the same time. But if you connect it to the USB-C of a laptop that supports charging also, you can charge the laptop from this USB-C cable and you can use it at the same time as a host for this docking station. By the way, if you want to check out this 2-in-1 UDS-030 docking station, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will help my channel. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.